Hello, everybody! Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Bloons TD6. The part before last, I played the new map, Sulphur Springs, on easy difficulty. In the last part, I played it on medium difficulty. And now it's time to up the ante once again, and go to hard difficulty. And I believe I am going to change my hero out once again. And it will be... Gwendolyn this time. Doesn't get hotter than this. I am aware of all those exclamation points above all the other heroes' heads, but I don't think I want to get to that right now. I believe they are telling me of the new costumes I can unlock, but costumes aren't really what I'm after right now. I'm after the brand new heroes that I have yet to unlock. I'm going to start off with three dart monkeys and see where that gets me. As you would expect, all the monkeys in hard difficulty are way more expensive than the ones found uh, than what you can... Uh, wait. That. As you would expect, since this is hard difficulty, the monkeys are way more expensive than what you can find in easy and medium difficulties. Yeah, let's just go with that. Did a bad job of explaining it, but... oh well. I'm definitely going to be saving up to buy my hero monkey at some point. It's $705. But hopefully I can build up that much credit soon. And I do! Welcome once again... Gwendolyn! With enough fuel and air, everything burns. Hopefully you're ready to cook some balloons. Are you? Preferably some lead balloons that can melt easily, despite how strong they are. I don't think they have a... I don't think they have a very high melting point compared to many other metals. In fact, let me go ahead and have Siri look that up now. Hey Siri, what is the melting point of lead? Yep. 622 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you, Siri. Uh, thank you, Siri. All right. She said no problem. Yeah, it's not a problem for me either. Siri's always here to help whenever I need her the most. That is, if I have my phone on me. Which I always do when I do these recordings, so I can know how much time has elapsed since I press the record button on Streamlabs. All right. I'm over a quarter of the way to where I was. Back in medium difficulty. That round's already done. Great. 
Great. The only thing I'm concerned about that middle island is that this qualifies as elevation. So there's no way I can place monkeys on it. And this dark monkey's range is only to this part of the track. But that's nothing. Long range darts and enhanced eyesight and possibly crossbow and any of the future upgrades down that path can't, can't deal with. I'm doing pretty good for being on hard difficulty so far. That long, concentrated line of balloons. banana farm right here. And I'll have it eventually work its way up to marketplace so it can generate cash for me. so far. I think I'm gonna put it on Monkey Buccaneer. I'll see if I can put four on this little lake. It's looking possible, but it's not guaranteed. Monkey Buccaneers present. those lead balloons right down. You may be strong, but your melting point of 600 some degrees Fahrenheit isn't gonna save you. Merchantmen to be I'm just now thinking about that monkey knowledge point I obtained in the last part. Something I may want to do at some point this session. Off camera. I'll let you know what I've put it into in the next part.
Should I upgrade my attack shooter? The Moab round is coming up, and I'm concerned that I may not have the monkey power necessary to take it down. And that's all I can afford right now. Can't even afford a dart monkey after that. I just gotta hope and pray. Moab. Burn it. Do it. Uh oh, uh oh. No. Ooh, crud. Aye, aye, aye. Well, I have over 5,000 monkey money, and it costs only 200 of it to continue. Yep, I'm continuing. There's no way I'm starting over after having just come this far. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <sighs> Man, I can't even afford another dark monkey now. I'm hoping this is enough. And it is! Hallelujah! Looks like I'm getting further into this game after all. Stronger. I certainly should be saving up for upgrading these monkey buccaneers to merchantmen. There we go. One of my merchantmen is gonna become present. Or maybe two if I'm lucky. I'm there. Two merchantmen on the map at last. I should really consider getting some crossbows on here, too. If at all possible. Drive doing its job pretty well. Though at the end, I'll consider upgrading this one into the tax zone. Oh, 
Moab. More Moabs incoming. <laughs> Central Market is something I am not going to afford for a long time. I'm probably gonna have to get another sniper monkey down here and have it target camo balloons. Great. Supply drop is a pretty useful ability to have when you need some cash in a pinch. But first, it's Necromancer time. What chance are those balloons gonna have at this rate? Especially this one, with my full auto rifle. I think it's sharpshooter time at this point. I'll maybe do this, too. Since the spiky balls have a chance of rebounding once they run into walls. The long line of camo lead balloons are coming up in the next round. Boy, are they gonna be scary. I should consider getting a super monkey in here, too. Knock back an Ultra Vision. Nice to have. Especially given this situation. Oh, it's not even needed. But I will upgrade this Super Monkey to have Laser Blasts. And Plasma Blasts. Don't mind if I do. BFB burn. That BFB got roasted. I mean that literally. By the way. Go. given these monkey buccaneers any upgrades since Merchant Man. I haven't given them any upgrades on these two paths, so that's what I think I'm gonna do right now. That's right. Come what may, these balloons' days are numbered. Prince of Darkness is definitely something I'm not going to be affording for a long while. Don't 
I got another banana farm right here, which has been upgraded to a marketplace, so I can have a greater chance of affording some stuff that I am really, really going to need later on. Especially with the ZMG round coming up. If I can make it there. BFB! <laughs> I got it down, Pat. Tax faster and generates lots of money per round. I'll go ahead and do it on this one. Five hundred dollars now from that one. I'm almost to seventy. Now I'm at round 70, which I will hopefully get past with my current setup. And there we have it. I can finally upgrade one of these two marketplaces to a central market. I think I want to get a ninja monkey down here. I think here should be a good spot. For all those balloons who get past the... This wizard monkey's ability to... Revert camo balloons to just regular balloons. I think I'm going to give some more favorite trades upgrades. Soon there's going to be a monkey that I'm really going to want. Or an upgrade that I really, really want. And one that could potentially cause me to beat this map on hard difficulty. Oh, 
Oh dear. Those were regrow balloons. I'm a little nervous about the ZOMG round coming up now. almost made it to the final loop. Yes. Now, uh... I'm gonna add one more sniper. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can splash around in the geysers. I was today year... Huh? What's happening? I'm hearing a shimmering sound effect whenever I click this geyser. Whoa! What's going on? I clicked them all in a sequence, and something was supposed to happen, but I don't know what. Maybe it's just an easter egg that I wasn't aware of until now. I don't know if that's supposed to make the game easier or whatnot. But moving on, I'm going to upgrade you to an elite defender. I'll have you upgraded to deadly precision as soon as I come around to it. But I think a better investment would be to have a crossbowman on this map. They work pretty well on medium difficulty. Master, unfortunately. But I can't afford Juggernaut, so I'll go ahead and purchase those upgrades first. And now what? I don't have enough to afford the tax zone, sadly. That's all I can afford right now. I hope all goes well for the ZOMG round that's about to start. And here we go. ZOMG 
Okay, the ZOMG itself is down. Now we've got all these BFBs and MOABs to take care of, and we did! Boss skills. 266 MOABs popped, and we got 204, probably up there, with 69,561 total pops. I don't know if it includes the ones that came before I used my continue, but what does it matter? I get more than double my money back anyways. And with that, I'm satisfied with how things have been. Um, next part though, I'm gonna be looking into unlocking one of these new heroes right here. Obviously one of the ones that cost only 5,000 monkey money. And, uh, yeah, eventually I'll be getting to one of these advanced maps soon. Preferably Dark Path or Erosion, since it has a golden balloon. But I'm satisfied with how things have been this part. So I'm going to take another break, and I will see you back here in the next part. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.